Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. We've made it back out here to Texas City, but uh, today the winds were pretty high, so we decided to avoid waiting. Said so forget about it, hop in the kayaks. We brought these bad boys out. And if you know this spot, you know, uh, it's kind of an annoying launch. So you don't usually find a lot of people here unless they're willing to deal with the little, it's not too bad, you just slide it down. But yeah, we're about to get launched. I've had success here in the past, so hopefully, Let's get that lighting. We can do that again, but uh, let's go ahead, hurry up, get launched, and try and go get on the fish. Starting things off with the little, here, let me show y'all. Come on, man. God, this thing's getting like caught up in my knot up there. My uni must be too thick, but this right here is our little Savage Gear shrimp, like two or three inches. Nice little shrimp. And uh, I forgot my fish bites, man. So we're using the Pro Cure, sadly. I really do like the fish bites as opposed to the Pro Cure because you don't have to keep putting it on and putting it on, but casting that on our Stratic CI4, the nice little reel, had it forever. Love this thing, even though it's falling apart. And then the old 18 light action rod here, the buoyancy. Honestly, get your hands on whatever rod you can. The only thing I'll say about the buoyancy that I like, like I always just say, you know, oh, I got the old 18s, but they do actually have a pretty cool feature. Like my favorite thing is how short that is right there. And when I'm fishing, I don't like rub it against my remote or my belly, big boy problems. And that's pretty cool. I guess I could highlight that. Not sponsored by these guys or anything, but I do get hooked up because my pops, it's a good company. I'll shout them out. Are we on something? Oh, I'm on something. Yes, sir. Oh, this is a nice fish, I think. Let me get the net ready. It's gotta be a red, right? It has to be a red fish or maybe a flounder. If it's a flounder, it's gonna be a decent one. Or what the hell? Guys, you won't believe what I just caught, boys. This is not what I wanted. Uh, oh, hey, we got a fish, right? It's better than yesterday's outing. All right, let's go ahead and get this sucker off the hook. I do not want to get barbed, so, you know, give me a moment. I don't like this catfish, bro. He's especially <laughs> energetic. Most of them just lay there like a, like a little idiot. This one is flopping all around showing those little barbs like he wants some action bro take it easy and i'll put you back no harm whoa dude you see that he's an acrobat give me my freaking hook you little bastard go man look, now look at this look what he's done dude to my shrimp it's all slimed up, all tore up. <sighs> Those little things, man. Those little things. All right, she's back in action. We're looking good. Hopefully our next fish will be a game fish, but you know what? We got on one that was a nice little tight line, I guess. It's the positive takeaway. So the little bait thieves are getting fooled by this lure. That's pretty crazy. I keep feeling little teeny tap tap taps tap tap taps they're coming to hit it but they just are too small to actually get a hold of it i guess it could be baby trout like little sand trouts or specks that aren't big enough or like brave enough to come in full commit let's see what it is this one got hooked completely yeah, that is a little pinfish. Wow, is that a pinfish, right? Yep, sure enough. It was a little bait thief down there. Check him out. He got a hold of that one. A little pinfish, I believe, right? That's what this is. I haven't caught, I don't catch these little suckers enough. Oh man, I hate grabbing them because they got those sharp ass little fins. Take it easy, pal. Just fully cover him up here. Make sure he's not going to barb me. 
It doesn't have a barb, but fin me. Freaking fins of pins. Get on now. So yeah, the Savage Gear Shrimp has fooled them, but look, so let me give you an example. You know how Fish Bites has that mesh? So does this dang thing, and that's pretty much what holds it together, is nothing but that little mesh there. And so it's damn near indestructible. I say that. I said that yesterday about the Fish Bites, and it just got instantly destroyed after, so. Wouldn't be surprised if that happened to us with our Savage Gear, but the thing is a beast. Just goes to show you so good that it fools the little idiots that don't bite artificials no matter what must be hungry down there there we go it feels nice i wonder if that's a trout it feels it's like a catfish almost You can't make this stuff up, guys. I, I knew, I was like, there's no way a flounder's just out here in the middle of the bottom. He was dead stuck like a catfish, not fighting hard enough like a red. Well, boys, we are having one of, one of those days on the water. Savage Gear Shrimp gets her done again, baby. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna handle this guy. I don't like having my hat on because I don't know. It's just, it's just disgraceful. No, but in all honesty, I like to take extra good care. I don't want to get stabbed, so y'all give me another second. Nine years later, got this little idiot off. Go on now, bro. I can't believe that. Two, uh, that's a that's a new record for me. Two gaff top off artificials in one day. It's got to be the pro cure because that was a fresh, that was a fresh dose that I put on there. Maybe two or three casts in. I guess that's probably what does it. I don't think the Savage Gear Shrimp is really all... I mean, it's got a good action. Don't get it twisted. It's a really nice shrimp, but... I don't think it has the ability to do all that. It's, yeah, see? There's still fresh pro cure on there. Oh, wow, man. That felt like a solid hookup. Oh, dude. Jeez Louise, boys. Ah, oh, man, that hurts. Oh, shoot. There we go, guys. No shot, man. Oh. Y'all don't understand how disappointing that is, boys. Finally had one. Felt, honestly, you know what? Let's just go ahead with the mental. Let's just mentally call that a catfish so we're not upset. That hook is still pointy. Oh, that felt like the one. That felt like the one. To make my day feel just that much better. But hey, you know what? At least we finally found what they're biting. A dirty old sock. Are you shitting me right now, man? Oh, boys. I'm about to go home and practice like a hundred hook sets in the mirror. Because I've missed too many good bites today, man. Didn't even record it, but coming through here, I missed like, I think another solid bite. Trying so hard not to get freaking upset. Just keep fishing. Go ahead and get the release. <laughs> what a fr fricked up day, man. Let's get this shiz off of there. There we go. Alright. Let's see. Let's see, man. Can we make it happen? I really thought that was a flounder off the grass point. Turned out it was a damn sock. Redfish. 
Nor structure? It could be. It has to be snagged. Dang it, dude. I have my drag way too loose. Oh my gosh, guys. You don't know how bad I wanted that to be a redfish. Or something. An any fish. What is there to snag out here? Is there an oyster? Yeah. I don't think that's what I got. Watch your I got a... What are the odds here, boys? Looks like we got ourselves a submerged something. We're going for a new record of... Freaking... Inanimate objects caught in a day. Come on. Looks like a, a old nasty freaking cast net down there. Caught a sock, caught a cast net, two gaff top, or not even gaff top, two hard heads, and a pinfish. I tell you what, bro. You got a weird stat card for today. Jeez, 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 man. Alright guys, quick little, what time is it? Ah eh, shoot, it's about two, two and a half hour update. And I'm gonna be real, I feel like dang, uh, y'all know Clark from the movie Bench Warmers? I feel like when he got his little baseball card and he's got all these weird stats like, you know, two dead birds, a broken windshield, and uh, you know, whatever. He had just the stupidest stats. That's how I feel right now, bro. I got two, two freaking catfish a pinfish a dirty old sock and that cast net and that cast net is the last thing of any type of excitement that has happened to me I spent another maybe 30 minutes fishing around in some marshy stuff back there and uh we were gonna try and make our way to the floodgate over yonder that way but the winds picked up way too high and getting across moses lake with the wind kicked like that is just not gonna be fun so i've decided to come and dead stick it i'm just gonna post right here and just fish my lure through here maybe switch things up maybe throw some pro cure on who knows i feel like this is gonna be my best shot though i had my nicest bites and i like i said earlier man oh wait guys real talk i got something oh my gosh yes sir yes sir i can't even speak oh you stop bro oh Look at that. Who that? That's a freaking flounder, y'all. Oh my gosh. I knew it. I literally knew it. In my heart and my soul, I knew this was going to be, if there's anywhere that I can just stop, pause it, cool out, and fish. Let's get this guy off because I'm talking while he's suffocating. But, um, oh man, I knew it was going to be right here. Let's go. Dang, this guy's got a full belly. Look at that thing. That's where their little belly is, and he is just chock full of shit right now. Stop, bud. I'm trying to get you off. Ain't you had enough, man? It looks like you're constipated. Where's that hook? Right in the top of the mouth. There we go. Let him breathe for a second, and then get a official measurement. I don't think homeboy keeps. But I've been wrong before. And, uh... It would be sick if he does keep because my pops has got one keeper spec. To be real, I don't even care if he keeps. I'm just happy I finally got a dang game fish after all this time. Come here, little bro. Yeah, no way. No way, no how does he keep. 14. 14 on the money. Let's let him back in. Let's just see how long it takes for him to realize that he's free. He's confused right now. He's kind of... That one was a smooth little escaper. I wonder if he thinks I didn't notice. Oh, man. That feels so good to catch one, y'all. You have no clue, like, how hurt I was after losing so many good bites. I told myself I'm I'm going home and I'm practicing my hook sets because uh, I'm off. But I think we're back. I think we're back, boys. I'm charged up right now. I'm feeling energized. I'm starting to feel sad. But uh, no, 
tomorrow tomorrow we catch a keeper maybe we do it today uh, we still got some time i'm just gonna spend it here casting oh but man it feels good to be back on a game fish thumbs up for that let's get it Something just hit it. Probably another flounder if I had to guess. Watch it be a catfish. No, this has got to be a trout. He's shaking. Or, oh, it's a little red. Come here, buddy. Well, now if I catch a little trout. This one was shaking like a dang trout would. Yeah. It's been a while since I caught a red, I think. Actually, that's cat. I caught a red just the other day on that flounder fishing video. Well, everything's technically been a while because I was out of town, so. Truthfully has my first red since I've been back. Now all we need is a little trout. Nice, cute little fella. Man, I was hoping that would have been a flounder or a trout. Would have for sure been a keeper the way he was fighting. Those little reds will fool you. Oh, is this a keeper? Maybe. It looks like it. Oh my gosh, y'all. Come on. No way, dude. Thank you. Oh, let's go. Yeah, keeper trout for sure. Yeah. Oh man, let's go, guys. I was just thinking in my head what I'm going to say in my outro, and it was going to be something like, you know what, taking it slow, we got back. Uh, today I got my game fish, tomorrow I get my keeper. But get that, today we get our keeper, boys. Look at that trout. Nice, thick old buck tooth. Ooh, I love it, baby. Let's go. Off that plum chartreuse. Y'all weren't joking. That's a solid color, man. I'm glad I was throwing it. <sighs> Let's go ahead and get this guy off and get him measured. No, I'm about to. It definitely keeps, though. All right, y'all, so that's the whole measurement right there. His lips are on the board, but those grips are in the way. So I'm going to say 17 with his tail nice and spread out. And then probably somewhere more like 16 and a quarter here, or three quarters. Oh, feels great to get on this trout, though. I'm going to go ahead and ikajime him in the head real quick. I'm going to have to give you the stuff because you're the only one with the wire. Got him nice in the brain there. No more pain for this sucker. Fat one, I wonder if she's spawning. Could just be a full belly. I know that flounder I caught had his belly just full to the maximum. These guys were out here gorging themselves. I'm gonna be honest, man. This is probably one of the most slept on spots in Texas City. Like it's so close. You don't have to drive all the way to Galveston. The only thing you gotta worry about is that stinky launch but i mean shoot if i would have got here earlier ain't no telling how many fish i've seen just feeding over there at that one spot that i kind of crushed on after i had my freaking bench warmers day and uh, man in the morning time you just see tons of bait over there birds jumping all around hanging out on those power lines and uh nice trout redfish um flounder I, you can catch it all here so close to home as well very slept on spot here in texas city all you need is a little paddle kayak to get out there too good god that thing is stuffed to the max so that's what it was full freaking belly i knew it had to be one or the other but yeah so i can only imagine how they were feeding all morning Cause I mean, I know you've been out here when we've seen the birds and everything going crazy right there at that little, that little mouth. Well, the pelicans were going like that earlier today. Yeah. Diving down on all that bait. Guess I'll go ahead and end my video right here. And that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Honestly, I was really worried that I was gonna take a couple trips to get back into full swing. 
getting on nice keeper fish, doing a cook maybe for y'all. But no, it only took that one wade trip and I'm still kind of a rookie at wade fishing. So does that really count? I don't think so. But back in the kayak, fishing comfortably in my comfort zone where I know what I'm doing. And uh, after a little bit of worry, we got on them. Great day. That's a slam too. That was a redfish, a flounder, and a trout. Awesome day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's definitely a great change of pace for me, and I hope you all have a great rest of y'all's day. Peace.